Uh, let's start with the Lord's Prayer in Greek sentence. Pater hemon, hoen tois uranois, hagias teto, to onomasu, el teto, he basileyasu, kene teto, to telemasu, hosen urano, kai epi tesques, ton artonemon, ton epiusion, dos hemin semeron, kai ape semin, tau pe lemata hemon, Hos kai hemeis, apiemen, tois opele tai semon. Kai me ei senenges, hemas eis peirasmon. Alla frisai, hemas apotu poneru. Hotisu estin, he basileia, kai he dynamis, kai he doxa, eis tu sayonas. Amen. Uh, today, we are going to study uh, Hebrew alphabet meaning, uh, the third letter in Hebrew alphabet. How do you pronounce? Gimel. Gimel is camel. Camel. And then the Gimel, uh, that comes from the verb, uh, strong number, 1580. How do you pronounce this one? Kamal. 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 Kamal is the verb that definition is to ripen and to win. Requite. Recompense. And then from this verb, we see here one, two, three, four. Noun is comes from this verb. And strong number 1576. How do you pronounce? Ke mul. So this is the vocal sheva, right? Vocal sheva. And then you see this one is shrek. Shrek. So you see the shrek is right here, which is complete vowel, u sound, u sound. So this is a mu. And then lamet, kamet. So ke mul kame mul lamet right so kemul is the masculine noun uh, the definition is recompense uh, recompense and benefit and the next word is 1578 strong number kemulla 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 la so lamet and kamet la right kemulla Kemulla is feminine noun and definition is recompense, recompense. And then 1581, 1581 is camel. That's why the gimel comes from camel. 1581 pronunciation is kamal, kamal, kamal. The last one is strong number 8408, masculine noun. Tagmul. 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 Tagmul is masculine noun. Definition is benefit, act of grace. Act of grace. So with this concept, so we can say camel, which is the third alphabet of Hebrew. Then means camel means requite, requite, and repay, reward. So once you win, and it's time to requite, repay, reward. So that's the gimel camel means. So let's study some of the verses uh, that. Uh, that we went over those letters. Uh, first one, uh, strong number 1580, Kamar, Kamal, Kamar is to win a child, okay, to win a child, to ripen, to requite. So it shows in the Genesis 21:8. Let's go to Genesis chapter 21, verse 8.
let's read together so the child grew and was weaned and Abraham made a great feast on the same day that Isaac was weaned so you see here the wind Gamur, right? Gamur, wind, the child wind, child wind, and then here again another one, right? Gamur, Gamur. So ha Gamur at Isaac, Isaac, Isaac. So Isaac was wind, wind. Then another word show up in the. Number seventeen eight. And we can look at the uh, verse seven to eight. And Moses placed the rods before the Lord in the tabernacle of witness. Now it came to pass on the next day that Moses went into the tabernacle of witness, and behold, the rod of Aaron of the house of Levi has sprouted and put forth buds and produced blossoms and yielded ripe, ripe almond. You see the yielded, yielded here, gamur, gamur, right? Yielded, yielded, ripen. So Kamur is to win a child to ripen to ripen. Okay. Let's go to 4 Samuel 122. And we can start from 20. So it came to pass in the process of time that Hannah received uh, conceived and bore a son and called his name Samuel saying because I have asked for him from the Lord now the man Elkanah and all his house went up to offer to the Lord the yearly sacrifice and his bowl but Hannah did not go off for she said to her husband not until the child is wind right then I will take him that he may appear before the Lord and remain there forever. So, on the, talking about the Samuel, which is a baby Samuel, right? Mm -hmm. You see the wind? So, Gamor, Gamor, right? Gamor, mm -hmm. wind. And then Psalm 1820. Psalm 1820 we can start from 18 they confronted me in the day of my calamity but the Lord was my support he also brought me out into a broad place he delivered me because he delighted in me the Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness according to the cleanness of my hands he was recompensed, recompensed me. So you see the gemol here? Rewarded me. Gemol, right? Gemol. But here he recompensed me. Recompense is not gemol, right? Recompense is shubu. Shubu. You know, in the Hebrew word shubu, it, it, it uh, is the repent repent okay. so 7725 here if you look at the five okay shubu is to turn back that's why in the greek word uh, repent it is metanoia metanoia right metanoia so both of them translate as repent repent so the John the Baptist and Christos Jesus talking, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. So but metanoeo translates repent and shubu translates repent, which is turn back. 
but it is the difference between shubu and the uh, metanoia. So shubu is turn back. It is not repent. Turn back. And it can be also repent. But metanoia, as we learn, uh, uh, when we learn the preposition meta, meta is combined, joined. Noeo is intellect, intellect, and perceive, and understand. So by joining to Christos Jesus, then understand. By joining the Son of Man, by joining the Son of God, then you understand. So perceiving, understand. That's what it means metanoeo. So it cannot be translated as repent. So that is an incorrect translation. So here, anyhow, on the uh, Psalm 18, 18 uh, was at the uh, 20, right? 20. He has recompensed me. That is the incorrect, incorrect word here, recompensed. Shub, right? Turn back. He has turned back to me. He has turned back to me. But here, the Lord rewards me. Reward. So that is the Gamar, Gemur, right? To win a child, to ripen, to requite, so to reward it. So once you win, and then requite, reward, repaid. So that's Gemur, Gamar means, right? Mm -hmm. Why? For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. So God, the Lord, 20, the Lord, the Lord is original text is Yehovah, right? Yehovah, Yehovah, Yehovah rewarded me, Yehovah rewarded me. Ka jiriki, ka jiriki. So, according to my righteousness, righteousness, he rewarded me according to my righteousness. Next one, let's go to Psalm 131.2. Uh, we can start from uh, one. A song of essence of David. Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor my eyes lofty. Neither do I concern myself with great matters, nor with the things to propound for me. Surely, I have calmed and quieted my soul like a wind child wind child with his mother like a wind child is my soul within me so here wind right wind wind gemo strong number 1580 wind so here the david says i have calmed and quieted my soul right like a wind child with his mother so whenever the child is with mother they are calm right because they got milk they got milk they are wind so that's why that's why when we go to the new testament it says desire the pure milk right desire the pure milk so it says the uh, first peter uh, chapter 2 let's go to first peter Chapter 2, verse 1. Therefore, laying aside all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking, as newborn baby, desire the pure milk of the world, that you may grow thereby. If indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious, gracious, coming to him as to a living stone, Rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God and precious. You also as a living stone are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. So once you win and repay, recompense. So it shows up in here too, right? So you also as a living stone. So Christos Jesus is a living stone. So you drink the pure milk. So once you understand the word of God, now it's time to repay, recompense, requite. 
soul are being built you being built through the pure milk right and you being built up a spiritual house holy priesthood and to offer up spiritual sacrifices so offer up spiritual sacrifice means what once you ripen once you win then reward right repay requite so when you look at here uh, pure milk 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 is gala gala milk in english word there is a milk it says what galactose mm -hmm. galactose i don't know whether it comes from uh, the greek word gala but gala is the milk in greek word gala gala and then let's go to the next word uh, strong number Fifteen seventy-six. Gemul, right? Gemul. Gemul is the noun. Gemul is the noun. Recompense and benefit. And this one show in the proverb twelve fourteen. Let's go to proverb twelve fourteen. A man will be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth, and the recompense of man's end will be rendered to him. Okay, so you see the uh, recompense of man's hand. See here, gemo, right? Gemo, gemo, recompense. And Proverbs nineteen seventeen. He who has pity on the poor lends to the Lord, and he will pay back what he has given. What he has given. You see here? Pay back, I think. Pay back, right? Here it says pay again. 1917, right? Oh, right here, right? Kimo, Kimo. Which he has given for he has given so he who has in new kingdom say who he who has pity on the poor lends to the lord and that he has given so what he has given he pay back that's what it means right pay back pay back means repay recompense that it says here Let's go to Isaiah 59:18 According to their deeds according accordingly he will repay for it to his adversaries recompense to his enemies the cost land he will fully repay See the uh, gemo, gemo right here, recompense, right? Recompense. But here, repay is the shalom, shalom, shalom. It's a different word. So here, gemo is say here, recompense, recompense. Recompense to his enemies, his enemies. It is show there. So that is for the uh, kind of a payment for the service payment for the service so the similar word showing up Matthew 1040 we can go there Matthew chapter 10 verse 40 Here says Christos Jesus say he who receives you receives me and he who receives me receive him who sent me 
And then 41, he who received a prophet in the name of prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he who receives a righteous man in the name of righteous man shall receive a righteous reward. And whoever gives one of these little ones a cup of cold water in the name of a disciple, assuredly I say to you, he shall by no means lose his reward. Mistos, right? Mistos. What? Miston. Reward. Reward. So it depends on what we got and we will give. Depends on what we receive and we will give. So, so similar cons concept in Gimel. Gimel. The Gimel is the one to be weaned, to win a child, once you to ripen and then requite. Re, re, uh, repay and reward and then let's go to the uh, the the word 1581 that is the Gamar today is the the camel how we showed in the camel in the Bible Genesis 24 10 So this is talking about the uh, between the Abraham and the servant, servant, his servant, right? Looking for the uh, the spouse of the uh, Isaac. And then the uh, uh, read from the verse 9, 24, 9. So the servant put his hand under the thigh of Abraham, his master, and swore to him concerning this, ma this matter. Then the servant took ten of his master's camels and departed. For all his master's goods were in his hand, and he arose and went to Mesopotamia, to the city of Nahor. You see the camel here? Gamar, right? Gamar, Gamar. So, mi gamale. So, mi is the preposition. So, out of, from. So, from camel. From camel. Whose camel? The master. His master's camel. Out of? out of his master's camel so camel and he made his camel kneel down so another camel right same Kamar. he made his camels kneel down outside the city by a well of water at evening time the time when women go out to draw water then he said O oh lord god of my master abraham please give me success this day and show kindness to my master abraham Behold, here I stand by the well of water, and the daughters of the men of the city are coming out to draw water. Now let it be that the young man, young woman to whom I say, Please let down your pitcher that I may drink, and she say, Drink, and I will also give your camels a drink. Let her be the one you have appointed for your servant Isaac. And by this I will know that you have shown kindness to my master. So here I will also give your camels a drink, right? Camel. So Kamar here, right? Kamar. Kamar. So he your your camels. Your camels. Kamar. And then another place we can see is the first king. Tend to Okay, we can start from one now when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon Concerning the name of the Lord she came to test him with hard question She came to Jerusalem with a very great Latun is that how you pronounce? Let you know with the camels that bore spices, very much gold and precious stones, and when she came to Solomon, she spoke with him about all that was in her heart. So here, the camel, camels, camel. So Kamar here, Kamar. So camel is the one means one of the means of transportation right mm -hmm. so like we just saw from the abraham and servant 
he take the camel with him right to the journey to find the uh, the spouse of the Isa so here is the same okay so camel is the transportation they use the transportation so when we watch the movies we know those Arabic uh, Arabic trader they use the camel in the uh, using the uh, Silk Road to go to China and then get some silk and teas and all different type of things and then they all bring to the western side Europe and then sell those things so those Arab trader uh, they use the camel as transportation and exporting and importing so camel is the very very useful okay and then the camel they they know where to go and how to go right so man can lost but camel knows the way to get there so those those movie we watch and about the camel let's go to another place the job one three and start from one there was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job and that man was blameless and upright and one who feared God and shunned evil and seven sons and three daughters were born to him also his possessions were seven thousand sheep three thousand camels five hundred yoke of oxen five hundred female donkeys and very large household so that this man was the greatest of all the people of the east so he has 3,000 camel here right 3,000 camel it's the camel here Damar right Damar Damar and verse 4 and his son would go and feast in their houses each one is appointed day and would send and invite their three sisters to eat and drink with them so it was when the days of feasting had run their course that Job would send and sanctify them and he would rise early in the morning offer burnt offerings according to the number of them all for Job said it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts thus Job did regularly now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan also came among them and say the Lord and the Lord said to Satan from where do you come the, so Satan answered the Lord and said from going to and fro on the earth and from walking back and forth on it then the Lord said to Satan have you considered my servant Job that there is none like him on the earth blameless and upright man one who fears God and shuns evil so Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for nothing? So it keep goes, keeps going. And then 17, coming down to the verse 17. While he was still speaking, another also came and said, The Chaldeans formed three bands, raided the camels and took them away, yes, and killed the servant with the edge of the sword. And I alone have escaped to tell you. So here show the camel too. So camel is the one of the possession, and not only used for uh, transportation, it count as the possession, the valuable things in the household. So we know those sons of sons of God. When you see the sons of God here, right? What verse was it? Verse 6, right? So look at the sons of God. Ben Elohim, right? Ben Elohim. So Bine, Bine, that's the plural. Plural construction. So Bine Ha Elohim. Ha Elohim. Do Elohim. Okay? So, but in English translated as God. But the Elohim, we know, ministry to hope almighty. So the ministry hope to almighty. That's the plural. So with that camel, and we know the famous verse in New Testament, right? 
So let's go to there. Uh, Mark 1 6. Uh, start from 1. And there's a couple of camel show in the New Testament too, so we can look at it. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophet, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John came baptizing in the wilderness and preaching a baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Here, like we just mentioned, the, the shubu and the shubu in Hebrew word, and then the metanoia. So metanoia is repentance here, right? So for the remission of sins. In verse 5, Then all the land of Judea and those from Jerusalem went out to him, were all baptized with, by him in the Jordan River, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair and with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. So talking about the, uh, the outer appearance of John the Baptist, right? So verse 6 says, John was clothed with camel's hair. So look at your camel. Camelos. Camelos. So English says camel. So camelos. Camelos. And then the Hebrew word is kamar. Kamar. So kamar, camelos. In English, camel. So John is in the wilderness. So wilderness we studied before and wilderness based upon the act chapter 7 38 after that so wilderness and then the Moses was in the wilderness church right so wilderness means in the wilderness church and then the Hebrew word wilderness is midbar midbar right midbar me out of tabar Arrange, organize, right? And then Tabar also, when it becomes the noun, it is the word, word of God. So out of word of God. So wilderness is the place to arrange the word of God. And then coming out of from the wilderness church. So that's what it means. And then the John the Baptist appearance is close with camel's hair. So camel is to win to win a child, right? Repay, recompass. So, recompass hair. So, John is a Yohannes. Yohannes is Jehovah's favor, Jehovah's grace. So, once he received Jehovah's grace, he win a child. He has a win a child. Now, he recompass, recompense, right? Repay, reward. So, that's the camel's hair. Okay? And the, with a leather belt around his waist. Okay, leather belt around his waist. Okay, leather. And then he ate locust and the wild honey. So we know what the locust means. Mm -hmm. And he ate those fourth day and fifth day churches later. That's why those Sadducee and then uh, scribers, they are coming, right? Mm -hmm. To be baptized. Okay. And then let's go to Mark uh, 10.23. Okay, actually this one is talk talking about the rich man, right? And start from 17. Now, as he was going out on the road, one came running, kneeled before him and asked him, Good teacher, how shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? Questioning, right? And then 18. So Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but one, that is God. So as you see here, the good. Good, agados, right? Agados. And then Carlos also translated as good in the uh, English Bible, but Carlos is beautiful, beautiful. Okay. And then Agados, Agados. That's why when we go to the chapter seven, good tree, good fruit. 
right? So then Agados tree, Carlos fruit. So cause and result. So that's the relationship between Agados and Carlos. But anyhow, God is the only one, good, right? God is the only one, Agados, Agados, that is God. So you know the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not bear false witness, do not defraud, honor your father and your mother. And he answered and said to him, Teacher, all these things I have kept from my youth. Then Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, One thing you lack, go your way, sell whatever you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven and come. Take up the cross and follow me. Again, we know follow me is akolyuteo, right? Akolyuteo. Mm -hmm. So, be accompanied with me, being on the same way, which means let's go together. Let's go together. So here, come, take up the cross and let's go together. Accompany with me as a disciple. And 22. When he was sad at this word, and went away sorrowful, for he had great position. So what's the condition in order to follow Christus Jesus? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but this young rich man, he went away because he had great position. And 23. Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciple, How hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. 24. And the disciples were astonished at his word. But Jesus answered again and said to them, Children, how hard it is for those who trust in riches to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of needle then for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. So what the meaning is, Jesus compared between the camel and the rich man, right? So who will be easier to enter the kingdom of God? The camel. Why? Because camel is, wants to be weaned, and he will repay, recompense. So drink the pure milk, keep growing up, and then repents, repay, rewards. So camel can enter the kingdom of God. So eye of needle will learn when we uh, learn the Hebrew alphabet meaning, which is a kof. If you look at the kof, kof is eye of needle and ear of needle. Okay? So kof is circle and turning. Okay? So you have a kof. You have an ear to hear, okay? So once you hear, you can believe, and then you can call the name of the Lord to be saved, right? So keep growing through the pure milk, and once you grow up, now you repay, recompense, recompense. So camel can be easier to enter the kingdom of God, right? And then they were great astonished, verse 26, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? And Jesus looked at them and said, With men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. So here it says, With men it is impossible, but not with God. But look at the preposition here. He said para andropois. So para is now with, right? Para is near, beside, next, right? So near, beside, next, andropos. Next to man, beside the man, impossible, right? But alu para to deu. So but not next the God, beside the God near the God. So you are shoulder to shoulder with who? You are shoulder next to, you are standing next to who? Man or you are standing next to God? God, God right? So you have to 
standing beside to who? Shoulder to shoulder. So that's why Christos Jesus says, Akolyuteo, be a company with me, being, being in the same way. Let's go together. Akolyuteo, which means, you know, when we learn the Aleph, the first alphabet meaning, to yoke, work together, and then plow the land, right? To get the fruit, the production. So that's why Christos Jesus says, you learn from me, and then let's be on the same way. Go to together, shoulder to shoulder. So, next to God, possible, but next to man, impossible. So, camel is the one next to who? Next to man, next to God. Next to God. So, camel, to be win. Get the pure milk from who? Christos Jesus and then easily to enter the kingdom of heaven. So that's what the Christos Jesus says. So camel can go step by step, one by one, shoulder to shoulder, keep growing up. Uh, one last thing I would like to uh, look at it is the, uh, you know, those camel that show in the, uh, the New Testament. Uh, go to act 22.3 Let's go to Act New Testament 22.3 And then the, uh, the Apostle Paul is talking about his personal history here. And verse 1, Brethren and fathers, hear my defense before you now. And when they heard that he spoke to them in the Hebrew language, and that uh, they kept all the more silent. Then he said, I am indeed a Jew, born in Tarsus of Sicilia, but brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel, taught according to the strictness of our father's law, and was jealous, jealous towards God, as you all are today. And I persecute this way to the death, binding and delivering into prisons both men and women. And also the high priest bears me witness and all the counsel of the elders from whom I also received letters to brethren and went to Damascus to bring in chains even those who were there to Jerusalem to be punished. So talking about his, his history, and then here you see the Kamaliel feet of Gamaliel. Okay. So Gamaliel. Gamaliel. Gamaliel is the uh, uh, Greek word, but it is Gamaliel. It comes from the Hebrew word. So 1059, strong number. You see here Gamaliel. Hebrew origin is 1583. Ah. Uh, Gam, Gamaliel, 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 Gamaliel. So Gamaliel is reward of God. So Gamar is to treat a person, requite, right? Ripen, to win. That's the verb we just learned, right? And then L is Almighty God. So reward of God, reward of God. Requite of God. So he was fit of Gamaliel. So Apostle Paul, he became Apostle Paul after, after this, after he met the Christus Jesus on the road of the Damascus. Now he become the people once he understand the gospel. When gospel become his life, now his life become reward of God, right? recompense of God and repay to God. So he was studying the feet of Gamaliel before he met the Christos Jesus. That's what he's talking here. So the, the meaning of camel, okay, whenever we see the camel in the Bible, and the remind the uh, camel is requite, repay, reward. That's the meaning of Gimel, which is camel. Okay, next class we are going to study the next alphabet, which is 
talent okay talent next 